Hello, everyone. I hope that you are enjoying your last uh, moments of this uh, Jewish week, uh, heading into uh, Shabbat soon. Uh, some relaxation, hopefully, some delicious challah, some great conversation. We are moving into the Torah portion called Re'eh and uh, the book of Deuteronomy, the last book of the Torah, getting, like I say, uh, like I've said the last few weeks, uh, dangerously close to the High Holy Days. Uh, and it continues to be the 37 day long speech that Moses is giving to the to the Israelites. Um, and it's a really great Torah portion that has a lot of parts to it. Uh, talks about uh, false prophets uh, and how to avoid them. Uh, it actually mentions all three pilgrimage holidays towards the end of the of the of the portion. It uh, talks about one of my favorite games I like to play, which we're not going to do today, which is kosher unkosher. So it uh, discusses kosher animals and non kosher animals. But mostly, I actually want to talk to you about the beginning of the Torah portion and based on what you see behind me, and that is if you see. Uh, it's the Trader Joe's logo. So I would hope that every single one of us has experienced Trader Joe's. If you have not, you really should. It's a really wonderful place. If you've been to Trader Joe's, you know that when you walk in, it's a different atmosphere than any other maybe store that you've been in. A different vibe, a different setup. It's a, a different design. And uh, the feeling at least when I walk into Trader Joe's is different than if I walk into Publix or if I walk into another another store. By the way, these are not this is not a, a uh, Shabbat message uh, <laughs> sponsoring certain places to go shop. I bring up Trader Joe's because one of the major things I love about Trader Joe's, but Joe's besides the the atmosphere and uh, the structure, and I think that lots of uh, foods are delicious uh, at Trader Joe's. One of my favorite things about it is that usually, and not always, there is only one choice of something, meaning typically, not in every, not in every uh, object, not in every item that's in the store, but typically if you want black beans, for instance, there's like the Trader Joe's black bean. That's it. There aren't. 33 options of the black beans. If you go to another store, another grocery store, sometimes the whole aisle can be full of 33 types of beans. But at Trader Joe's, you really only have this sort of one, this one choice. And so it made me think about choices. And that's essentially what the Torah portion is about because Re'e is, or opens up pretty much by saying God, God, God speaking through 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 Moses through Moses' speech, pretty much saying, "I usually don't give you a choice." God says, "I usually just say you're going to do something," but this week I'm giving you a choice, and you can either choose the good path or you can choose the not good path, essentially. And I'm leaving it up to you for you to decide what meets what you're going to fulfill. What are you going to do? Now, most of us are thinking, I would don't want to pick the bad side, obviously, because those are bad ramifications that come with it. But choosing the good side mm, is also complicated because you really have to dedicate yourself to making the good choices. So on this Shabbat, sort of a balance of Trader Joe's with the one option and the thought now I'm bringing up that we have choices, but really only two God is giving us, only two choices. Take the good path or the bad path. I'm inviting us on the Shabbat to think about this. We're close to the high holidays, obviously. We should think about these paths in our in our life. But also, are we making the right choices on the dialogues that we have? On the, the relationships that we're hopefully deepening like we're supposed to are we uh, of course on our minds connecting to israel ch checking in on israel more often than just uh on a on a on a short um 
part of just opening an app and quickly reading it? Are we are we looking at Israel a, a little a little more deeply? Are we uh, here a congregation, a congregation but in Israel? Are we dedicating our choice to being here more? These are really 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 big choices, and they're hard. And that's exactly what God wants us to be doing this week: is to think about these hard choices. So I wish all of us lots of good luck on your choices. Again, not an ad for Trader Joe's, but you should go. It's great. Services uh, tonight are at 6.30 as usual. And tomorrow morning, uh, we are, we're fully back into our uh, non-summer timing. Uh, so tomorrow morning is our 8.30 service and Torah discussion. May we continue as we have for many, 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 many weeks now. Um, keep Israel in our hearts and put as much shalom as we possibly can into our Shabbat.